Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 191. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Tricks 185 to 202. Hey, uh, here we have some names, and the middle name is in quotes. And we want to extract the middle name. Now, I'll show you a formula way here, and then in the next one, 92, I'll show you... Uh, text to column way that is much, much easy, easier. Uh, so, uh, but let's see how to do it with a, f a formula. Really what we're going to do is we're going to start off by, we'll use the mid function, and the mid functions can extract things, uh, parts of uh, a text string from the middle or somewhere, anywhere within a text string. But first what we're going to do is we're going to use the left and we're just going to get from the first letter all the way to this D because we can find this quote um, and a, with a find function will tell you what position is it, it is in. Subtract one and from the left extract that. And then we'll use that text in a mid uh, to extract the, uh, the middle name. All right, you ready? Equals M-I-D. And we'll do left, left of what? This whole string right here. Now, what is the number of characters? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right? So we'll do find, find what? Well, we need to find that quote right there. And there's a funny way of doing this. Quote, uh, quote, quote, you have to put three quotes, and then actually I want to find the quote and the space because guess what? It'll look for that one. Here, we, if we were looking for this one, we put space quote. This one, we're going to say quote space. And that is the way you have to do it. You have to put that extra little quote there for it to recognize quote and space. Comma, within what text? This. And close parentheses. Now, we can just uh, highlight it. Actually, let me move this little screen tip. And I'm going to highlight that and hit F9. See, that gives us 12, but we really run 11. So I'm going to subtract one, but be sure and Control-Z. You know, that F9 trick to evaluate and see what's going on is dangerous if you forget. Minus 1. And let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, that'll be just fine. That is 11. In fact, we can highlight it, hit F9. Oh, that's 11, Control-Z. Now let's close parentheses on the left, and that'll be our text string. If we were to F9 it, you can see that that's our text string that we have now to deal with, Control-Z. Okay, now, that's the text for mid. Now the starting position, now, um, since this is all the text, we want to start right there on that E, so we'll search for this one, space, quote, which will give us a number, and then we'll uh, add one more to it, because that's where we want to start. Fine find what? And in this case, it's going to be a uh, single quote, space, and then triple quote, comma, and within what text? This right here, uh, close parentheses. And we have to uh, subtract one because it'll give it, uh, or no, add one because we want to find the, this finds the position right there, and we want to start on E. So we're going to plus one. Now, we'll close, this is the, the starting number, so we'll add a comma, and the number of characters. Well, uh, since they are varying length, you, you, you can just put the biggest possible number. Well, middle names are, as far as I know, never more than 100 characters, so I'm going to put 100. If you were worried, you could put 1,000, say. We'll put 1,000. Okay, and that, that way it will always get the right uh, number of characters. Close parentheses, and now I'm going to control enter. Oh, look, it's got that quote, so we made a mistake. Now, uh, click right here and take a look here. Remember, we, we analyzed the first part of it with F9, but we didn't analyze this part. I'm going to look at this because um, the position, uh, we have an extra quote there. I'm going to analyze this. I'm going to hit F9. It's 9. Let's just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, that's the quote, so we actually are not adding 1. We need to add 2. Why? Because, let me control Z here, we asked find to find a space and a quote. So it actually finds that position where that space is. So we need to go 1, 2, add 2. So if we change this to 2, Control-Enter, it got it. And if we double-click and send it down, zoop, then we have it right. All right, in our next video, I'll show you a much easier way if you don't have to do it with a formula. All right, see you next trick.